Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this time we are creating this beautiful animated PowerPoint slide and this is a multi-purpose slide which you can use for any business presentation topic. For example, you can use it for sales, about, agenda or you want to mention some points. So this is a perfect slide. So I've created this in different colors. So let's start. So now you have to insert a rectangle here and place it like here, middle of the slide area, then duplicate it and change its color so that we, we can easily differentiate it and place it here and increase its height and place it on the left side of the screen now what we will do here is we will format this and increase its width and height a little bit so that it looks a square and now again duplicate it and fill a different color you can fill any color you want at the moment now place it like here and these are the placeholders for the images which we will add here we will insert three images here so right now i am creating a wireframe uh, or you can say i'm placing these shapes as a placeholder and we will create the slide we will design this slide on the basis of these shapes so now as you can see our shapes are in place now we have to increase the width of this blue square a bit so now as you can see it is looking perfectly aligned so the main focus here is on alignment now insert another square shape and we will use this shape as a placeholder for a background image send to back fill in uh, fill picture file then insert this background image here so you can choose any image you want uh, it would be great if it's of light color now insert another overlay shape which we will place above the background and we will fill white color and increase the transparency a bit so that the background is visible so now you can see that the background image is visible so everything is in place everything is well aligned and now it's the time to insert images but before that I have applied a shadow effect on this white square and yeah now let's insert pictures into these three rectangle shapes so I have already downloaded these images from pexel.com and in the second rectangle insert again insert the image and follow the same process for the third rectangle as well i'm calling it rectangle but here it is square but the shape is called rectangle so that's why i'm using the word rectangle here now we have to fill the color in this background rectangle shape so i have filled the same color as of this flower in the image now slightly increase the transparency of this background uh, the red rectangle so that the background is slightly visible 
now our slide is almost ready so I am just checking few options here if we can bring more vibrance to these images so that the images these images look more vibrant so you have you can click on the image go to format and go to corrections in the top menu and pick the right shade of image so you can increase the saturation and vibrance of the image now insert the text box here and write uh, like so yeah I'm writing here presentation volume 9 so we will uh, rotate it uh, 90 by 90 degrees towards the left and place it on the left side of the screen now increase the character spacing reduce the font size and make sure it is uh, visible enough so the font size you can and the font size should be small here now we have rotated it left and let's place it somewhere like and we have to first align it to the middle so let's place it here now so you can write any text here you want like you can mention about the uh, slide title or page number or if you are if your slides are in some order you can write that particular name and number as well so now it's the time to add slide title here and I am selecting a font here so I have picked like Oswald and I'm looking for um, bold font for Oswald and Oswald semi bold so increase the character spacing to very loose all caps increase the font size now we have written ROI you can write anything like agenda sales growth stats analytics marketing anything so I have placed it here I don't think the gray looks good here we have to change its color now it looks much better now insert another shape uh, I'm thinking of making it a two color slide currently it is just one color like red so blue will look good here all that I call I mean for all the like um, pink and red red and all shades of red I call them red and similarly for the blue so this is blue for me some will call it sea green so now we have sent it to back and increase its height I'm thinking of placing it behind this white rectangle and here you go so now as you can see everything looks well arranged everything is very uh, placed in line like first this rectangle then this second rectangle blue rectangle then this white in the middle so everything is well arranged and this is not what we want so what we will do here is we will 
we will you know change the placement of these shapes so let's come that to later uh, first we will do something here like I am filling the gradient color in these shapes so this will make it more realistic so I'm filling the gradient color for red so on one gradient stop I have used red and on the other gradient stop I have used uh, a darker shade of red and same I did for this blue rectangle now we will add subheading here return or investments so we will write in small letters let's change it to lowercase so now it looks much better and well placed and arranged now we will change the font color for this subheading and now it looks much better so let's insert another text box and write some dummy text here and it's optional if you need some uh, needs, if you need to showcase some text here then you can write small description here if you can avoid it that would be better if one word is enough to explain the overall and complete scenario that would be great otherwise write a small description here but make sure it is very crisp and easy to understand because in PowerPoint there is no place for longer text for that you can use word presentation is all about presenting the information in minimal words and with more graphics and creativity So I'm just placing the dummy text here and you can place as you want uh, I'm using the two column design here so it's totally up to you you can keep it uh, like this now increase the height of this white rectangle and same for this blue and reduce the height of the red rectangle and now the design looks more creative and more more innovative so you can apply the same trick in all your designs you just have to play with the placements and the design looks more creative so I'm just playing with the shapes and the placements and you can also do that you don't have to stick to what I'm doing here you can also try your own tricks and your imagination to do things like these and just doing it randomly there is no set order or some pattern in my mind so now comes the animation part and I'll show you a quick trick to animate the slide what you have to do is press ctrl a and everything is selected go to animation tab and select fly in increase the delay and duration and delay should be 25 and duration is up to you I'll be keeping it around 1 to 1.5 second and ensure every animation is start with previous you have to select start with previous now increase the delay on all the individual animations what I'm doing is I'm applying the delay randomly on different uh, animations here and you can do the same as well it's all about trying and testing like I have done it and I'm testing it I think it is too, too, uh, too fast so 
and all the sh shapes are coming from same direction so i'm changing the effect options and changing the uh, direction for each animation and this will make it more engaging and more fun to watch like all these shapes are coming from here and there from everywhere and joining at the center of the slide so this will become a very cool animation so i am doing it randomly so you can also try this kind of animation like you have to press control a select all the items on your slide and select fly in animation now increase the duration to 1.5 for all these animation this will make it more slow and it ends with the ease so it's all about trying and then see the result then again test see the result until you get the desired output so this is the today's video and I hope you like this slide design I have created it in five different color formats so you can download this template from the G drive link given in the video description so if you like this slide design then please like this video and hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel you can also share your thoughts in the comment section below so thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Peace and keep watching our videos.